Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to NCAA 13. And it's now time to continue on with another dynasty here. I tried to film this last night, but unfortunately due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, my voice sounded really tired, so I decided to scrap it. He would have been the offensive coordinator for the University of Washington. And this is going to be another TV reference. And this is actually an old Fox show, King of the Hill. So this will be the Hank Hill coaching carousel here. And we found our guy, and we're going to have him with glasses on. And there we go. There's Hank Hill for you. We're just going to have him wearing a regular t-shirt because he did that on the show. Now it's time to pick his alma mater. So let's spin the wheel. He Spin the wheel of destiny here. Let's see where he's going. And he's going with... As his alma mater will be Louisiana Tech. So that means we gotta spin the wheel again to see see what his uh, offensive playbook is going to be. And it'll be Air Raid, okay? And his defensive playbook, which I don't know why, will be multiple deep. So there we go. Hank Hill has been created. So, file name, we're gonna go with Hill. And here we go, let's get started. So here we go, coaches contracts, generating all Americans. Generating schedule, yada yada. Now it's time to pick a team. And he starts off with traditional USC, and of course they don't offer him the contract. So we're gonna go alphabetical order to the next school, being Texas State. Oh, is that, that's where he was in the movie and up to your contract. So we got next up, we gotta go to UMass. And it is gonna be a big disappointment because it'll be a two year contract. And then UTSA, yeah, the Roadrunners. And no surprise, all of them have two year contracts. So then he checks out Washington, the school that he turned down last time. And ooh, two year contract again. So it won't be a, a reversal of last night. So West Virginia, they're out because they have a two-year, four-year contract. Now it's time to head to the WAC to take out his alma mater, Louisiana Tech. And nope, two years. Then he checks out San Jose State, and they have a two-year contract as well. And what about New Mexico State? No, no, not Idaho. Three. And that means our offensive coordinator job is three as well. So it's probably one of those three sweeps. So let's check out the defensive coordinator job I'm recruiting. Yep, a three-way sweep. So then there's New Mexico State. They offer a three-year contract as well. Uh, lovely. But then he checks out Utah State and, again, three years. So we got a sweep of the three-star. So as we take a look at the Sun Belt... Checks out Florida International, and they have a two-year contract as well. Jeez. Jeez, seriously, what's up with the rotten luck? So Florida Atlantic, they offer a two-year as well. Oh, my God. Stop with the long contracts. Two for Troy's. Jeez. But then the raging cadence of Louisiana Lafayette. Two. What a big surprise. And there's UL Monroe. They have a one-year contract with the Warhawks. So, he wants to start good. So, UL Monroe, he could consider. Western Kentucky, let's see what they offer. They offer a three here. So, so far, UL Lafayette's in the lead. So, taking a look at Auburn, we got a two-year contract there. So, that's a big disappointment. Then there's Florida International. Then let's take a Florida, two years, obviously. So, here we go. We got the University of Georgia. And they got a three. Jeez, what's up with that? Then there's Kentucky, and they offer a two-year contract. Then there's LSU, and they offer a four-year. Dang nabbit. Then there's Mississippi State. They offer a one-year contract. Oh, boy. That's a good offer, but he doesn't want to start up with a powerhouse right away. And that means their offense is 84. So he checks out Missouri, and there's a two-year contract. Then he checks out the Tennessee, wants to check out Tennessee. And they got it, no surprise, three years. So he checks out South Carolina, and they have a two-year contract. So, so far, so far Mississippi State is in the lead along with UL Monroe. 
time to check out the Pac-12. And we're probably checking out these schools, so it looks like Arizona may not be getting Hank Hill to join their coaching staff, nor Arizona State. Jeez, so he's having a lot of tough times picking a school here, so he should really consider UL Lafayette. UL Monroe, excuse me. UL Lafayette here, so you take a look at Oregon State. They offer a big one. Then it's time to take a look at Stanford, so this one has to be a big one. Three, I was expecting four, so oh well. Then he checks out UCLA, and there's a two year contract. And then he checks out Utah, the Uts. And nope, two year. Okay, I'm curious. Since we know we're not going to Washington, let's check out Washington State. Okay, three years, I figured as such. So no Pac 12 team wants him on the roster. Time to check out the Mountain West. The Mountain West. As you can see, we got boys checking out Boise State. They have a three year contract, so. And then there's Colorado State. Let's take a look. Ooh, one year contract. There we go. And. Um, yeah, you can consider that. Taking a look at Fresno State, and. Ooh, another one year contract. See, this conference is being nice. I'm curious, let's see what Hawaii is. Of course, a two-year. I should have known. Then there's Hawaii. Nevada, excuse me. They got a three-year. Then, hmm, what about New Mexico? The Lobos, nope. Not gonna happen. Then UNLV, the fine rebels here, and they offer a two-year contract. And then there's Wyoming. Let's take a look what they're offering. They offer a, a three-year contract. Although on the camera it said it looked like it's two. So, so far we had a lot of school that's been awfully generous. Here's Ball State. They offered two years. So, yeah, we're going to a Mac now. Taking a look at Bowling Green. They have a three-year contract. Then we have the Buffalo Bills. I mean Bulls. They have a two-year contract. Take a look at Central Michigan. They have a two as well. Maybe he should have took the Colorado State or Fresno State job. But nope. He's checking everything out to see what we got. Kent State, they're offering three. Then there's Miami of Ohio, two. Then here comes Northern Illinois. Let's see what they're offering. Two as well. So here we go. Time for Toledo. As we take a look at Toledo, we already know. Oh, four for Toledo. That's nice. So here's Western Michigan. They're offering a two year contract as well, so no Mac school wants them. Time to check out the Independents. Not Army. What about BYU? Nope. How about Navy? Nope. N not even Navy wants them. Hank Hill to go there. That's sad. And Notre Dame, they say, nope. Take a look at Conference USA as we take a look at UAB first, as that's my current dynasty. They have a two year, so that job's turned down. Then he takes out UTEP. And three years, yada, yada, yada. Then he checks out East Carolina. Two years. Houston. Yeah, let's take a look at Houston. Three years. Obviously. Marshall, three years. Memphis. Ooh, a one year contract with the Memphis Tigers. Do we think we should go with this? Uh, I'm probably going to think about that. As he checks out Rice, they have a two year contract, even though I do, on, do one on my, on my in NCAA 12. We got SMU, they he turned that job down. Southern Miss, let's see what they're offering. Three years. And here's Tulane. They offer three years. Then Tulsa, two years. So we gotta move up. Take a look at the Big East as we got Connecticut to look at first and ooh, one year contract for UConn. Well, let's check out Cincinnati to see what their offering is. Ooh, a one-year contract. And you know what? Hank Hill thinks 
he wants to coach a Big East school. So, and he thinks Cincinnati may be that place. So, sign on that dotted line. Because Hank Hill will start off with the Cincinnati Bearcats. Wait, is it Bear, is it Bearcats? Oh, it, yeah, it is Bearcats. Okay, time to introduce our, our depth chart. We have Eugene Clark, our junior quarterback, with an 80 overall. We have another junior quarterback, Austin Walton, a 75 overall. And we also have a senior, Dan Wright. We have another Wright. Be beautiful. So, oh, oh, Clark hasn't used his red shirt. So we're going to red shirt Eugene Clark for sure. We have our senior, Barry Bozeman, an 85. We have a sophomore, Aaron Weldon. Sophomore, Paul King. And Devin Martin, a 72, our junior. Freshman, we have Ron Mansfield, a fullback. Oh, so we have to do a lot of, he has to do a lot of recruiting there. Right receivers, we've got Ben Blanchard, Matt Wall, Justin Hood, Aaron Walker, Joel Mitchell. Wait. Mitchell? Joel Mitchell. Um, not a fan, I think you're Joel Mitchell. I think we have another Mitchell here. And Ray Rosia Rosario. I thought it said, I thought it was Ray Mysterio. It would have been funny if it said Ray Mysterio. Tight end we got Matt Eric Woods, Michael Allen, and Matt Hines. So there we go, that's your lineup here for you. And now it's time for the red shirts. Now it's time to red shirt people. Of course, if you guys know, our top players are strong safety, Kevin Parker, 86 overall, so. So we got Eugene Clark. We're going to redshirt him. We're going to redshirt him, because we don't want to lose him. So Jack Drew, we're gonna keep him around. So fullback, we got. So we gotta redshirt these guys, cause well. Now looking at fullbacks, we have a freshman, so we can build around him. Now it's time for the uh, this job. Blanchard, we're gonna redshirt. Wall, we're gonna redshirt. Him, we're gonna redshirt. Aaron Walker, we're gonna redshirt. We can't redshirt Joel Mitchell and Ray Rosano. However, we can redshirt. We can redshirt these guys. Tight end. We're gonna. There we go. Now it is time to, for a custom schedule. As you can see, we have a bye this week, which is excellent. Then we got Pitt first, which is really stupid, but okay. Then we got FCS East with the Rhinos. Then we have Virginia Tech. So hold on, let's see. Should we go Virginia Tech? Well, I really want to show Navy Stadium off, so let's do that. And FCS, okay, we're going to get rid of that and put Army in. And how about make that a row game? At least that way we can match things up. Then we got Toledo, okay, where's Air Force? Aw, oh, we can't do Air Force, but... How about Middle Tennessee State? Yeah, we have to show that stadium off eventually. Then Louisville, then, Sin then Syracuse, then Temple. Then we take on Dennis Hoffman at our turf and... At our, on our turf, then South Florida, then we have that big matchup against Connecticut. Yes, we're going to go with that. So here we go, we're going to start the season for Hank Hill, which sometime next Monday will be the next episode. So here we go as we had head toward the regular season here we go we're filing the recruiting board so because we got to do a lot of recruiting here for Cincinnati
So we're starting the regular season off correctly. Man, I love this music. So preparing the studio updates, which we're not going to see any in this episode today, because guess what? It's a bye! Duh! So Hank Hill gets his shot here as... So here we go, so we take a look at recruiting, and as you can see, I don't have to do much. In fact, we're going to scout for more fullbacks, and our halfback, Bozeman, is our fourth best pl actually tied for second but Sean Houston take a look at our pipeline states our big obviously is Ohio then Florida and, and Indiana and we may lose Indiana next year so and as you can see we have no one from California which is a big disappointment which is a big disappointment but oh well which is a big disappointment because hold on do we get someone from California on here, on this list? Oh, we got one, and that is, hopefully, the offensive player. Yes! So we're going to add him to our recruiting board. Aww. Aww. Dang, nabbit. So take a look at our recruiting board as we take a look here. We need a fullback, so looking at a cornerback, uh, Mike Robinson here, so we're going to give him proximity to home. Potentially screw Indiana the early going. And we're going to give him solid playing time. Even though I'm not the defensive coordinator. Although Hank's not the defensive coordinator. And now it is time for the hat for the fullback. And unfortunately we don't have any wide receivers. No tight ends. We do have it. And we have Will Green from Norton, Ohio. We're going to give him prospect's choice. And we're going to offer him a scholarship to boost our lead. Unless someone tries to get him here. Looking at Andrew Howard, who has Ohio State. Oh, boy. So we're going to try and knock Pitt off. So that way we can steal this. So there we go. Looking at tackles. And, ooh, we got a gem here. John Pleasant. So we're... Look at that, as you can see, we're only up 140. Alrighty, so Hank's doing a good job. So with that, as we advance the week, as we have our first home game against Pitt. Which, like I said, will take place on the next episode. So here we go, as we t advance the week here. Oh my god, this is taking forever. We got Pitt. So here we go. We're preparing the studio updates. And we are going to. So here we go. We're going to do the traditional things. Despite the fact that we had just had a bye. And look at that. 
We already got three commits. Jerry West, Jay West, Smith, and Webb all committed to the Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So with that, Pitt's 1-0. So chances are we're projected to win, despite our offense being wor terrible, more terrible than them. Take a look at the top 25. As you can see, USC's the new number one because Alabama fell, which is great. And there you see... Everything is still the same. Georgia Tech and Auburn are added in. And Nebraska and Boise State dropped out of the top 25. Conference standings, as you can see. We're in last place because, guess what? We didn't even play a game yet. So, we're all, already, we're all, Hank's off to a good start. Take a look at the Heisman watch, as you can see. We got James Wright. Luke Peoples. Kenny Stewart, Warren Johnson, and Charles Carey. Aaron, why is there an Oklahoma player from New Mexico? That's throwing me off guard. Now it's time for the players of the week. And we got Jeff Bowers from Texas Tech and uh, Colby Mitchell from, oh goody, another Mitchell. Yeah, that's great. So I'll take time to take a look at the Big East players of the week. And we have... Chris Tent from Temple and Austin Patrick from Syracuse. Congratulations to you. So with that, I think this should just about wrap up this episode. Come back next time as the Bearcats will play their first game under Hank Hill against the Pittsburgh Panthers. Come back for that, guys. I'll see you guys later.